Hi there and welcome to this video guide on how to set up your services with Tenta 8. In this video we will outline how to do the following. Set up a one-to-one -one service, set up a class service and adjust your service options to suit your needs. Firstly, go to set up services and from here you can either create a new service or you can just edit an existing one by clicking on them. So when creating a new service, you will get the option to give your service a name. Once you've given your service a name, you also get the option to select between adding it to all teachers or no teachers or all staff or no staff. The difference there is that if you add it to all staff, the service will be available for across all staff members and for example if a specific staff member can't do it, you can later on remove it from that one staff member. If you select the option of no staff, that means that no staff member is assigned to the service and you will later on need to go into set up staff or set up teachers to then assign a staff member to that service. Now let me quickly show you how to do that. So when you go into set up staff or teachers, you can click on a specific staff member, click on services and then use the drop down to add them to a specific service. Let's go back into set up services. So let's add this service. Once added, clicking on the service will show you all the options available. So firstly, you can select the type, which is in this case a one-to-one -one because we created a one-to-one -one service, but you can change it to be a class booking. You also get to edit the duration if you wanted to. You can choose the buffer and travel time, so a certain block of time that will be added before or after the appointment. You can select which location the service takes place at. And if you want to have combination of the above, please get in touch with us on help at 10 com and we'll be happy to help you with setting that up. Following that, you can also decide uh, which color the service should use, which is used for color coding on the calendar. You can decide the way it can be booked, so if it's bookable by anyone, privately bookable with a URL, visible to clients but not bookable, or completely hidden on the booking page, as well as select a notice period that you require from clients. You then get the option to decide how the service is allocated to staff members. Um, or what option the client has when doing that. So you can allow the client to allocate um, or basically force them to choose a staff member. You can allow students to choose, um, which also gives them the option to basically choose between either staff member or a specific staff member. And then you can allocate the teacher automatically. You then also get a direct link to the service. This link will skip the main booking page and show availability for only that specific service. You get the option to allow cancellations and changes or not allow them, as well as the notice period that you want to set up. You then also get the option to set up a public description. This is visible to clients on the booking page when they make the appointment. And as last, you get the option to decide between showing the price, not showing a price, making the payment optional, booking or even required. Um, at the time of booking. On class services, so let's change this to a class service, you get most of the same options. An additional setting that you do get is the option to select how many attendees you want to set up um, or want to allow for that specific class. So the default would be 10, but you can set this to any number up to 99 attendees. Um, a setting that is removed as part of the class service is the buffer time, so you wouldn't get an option to set up a buffer time. With class bookings, um, there's also a difference in how the availability is set up. So to set up availability for class booking, you actually need to head into your calendar directly and make the class available by booking it into your diary first. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how you can use Tenta8 to better manage your business. If you are in need of any further help, a link to our support portal can be found in this video description. We regularly release guides to help you get mo most out of Tenta8 and the vast variety of features we offer. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with these video guides. Thank you for choosing Tenta8.